Hello guys, Marco Schwartz here. In this video, I want to tell you why you should rather buy an authority website rather than actually building one from scratch. So let me tell you first what I mean by a site or authority site. It can be a site which is just recommending products. Okay, that's the case for many uh, Amazon affiliate sites, for example. It can be uh, a site selling digital products, which is the case uh, for most of my sites. Or it can be even an e-commerce site, or even, let's be crazy, uh, a software as a service uh, application. So it can really be actually any type of online asset that you could either build or buy. So let me tell you a bit first about what is my own experience. I built many sites, okay? So I built many authority sites uh, some of them are pure Amazon affiliate sites. Some of them are actually um, recommending products, but also selling my own digital products uh, in the form of video courses. And one of those sites is now making uh, more than 100,000 views per month. So it's quite a big site, uh, just from SEO, right? Not from advertising, just from pure organic search. So more than 100K visits a month. So as I said, yeah, it's quite a bit side that I built from scratch. On the other end, um, I bought two sites, uh, one in 2016, one in 2017. Both were bought from Empire Flippers, which by the way, I really recommend if you want to uh, buy a site because they do a great job into actually checking all the metrics from the site. I bought those two sites. One is about uh, snorkeling and the other one was about uh, hairstyling. So both niches that I'm not an expert in, that's for sure. Uh, however, they're still both doing great. And one was about $20,000, uh, one was for f nearly 40. So still quite small site uh, compared to what you can actually buy on those platforms and Empire Flippers. However, I'm, I'm still really happy with those investments. So inside this video, I really want to, to tell you why you should actually rather buy a site and not build it from scratch. So of course, the main argument for, for buying a site is that you will save time, okay? Building a site actually takes a lot of time, especially if it's your first site ever that you are building. It will take a lot of time to actually get it right um, so I built, you know, some sites that never made any money. I spent a lot of time on it. Uh, I also spent a lot of money building those sites and they just, you know, never actually, um, you know, came to life and generate money. So this definitely can, can be uh, a, a major argument for buying a site. So when you buy one, you just take the money that you have and automatically you create some passive income. Uh, that is coming from the site. Also, it's a great way to actually uh, invest in a site which is either outside of your, you know, like like a, a niche you would, uh, that you don't know, like for, for, for me, uh, snorkeling. So I would probably never have started a website about snorkeling because I don't have a special interest for that. However, once you actually buy a site which is already generating money, you can really like make an abstraction of the topic of the site and really focus on the business side of it. How can I actually grow it? How can I hire writers to, for example, grow the site? Uh, what optimization I can do? So really, when you buy a site and you want to grow it, it's more about focusing on the business side of things uh, rather than really on the niche itself. So that's also great because you don't have to invent everything. You don't have to, to make guesses. It's already an existing business that you can then really focus on and improve over time. Also by buying a site, you skip actually a lot of the risk which is included in building a site. Because you don't have to then make guesses. Everything is already built for you. The business is working. Of course, if you uh, select the correct type of site, so really you don't have to do a lot um, to, of guessing and you don't have to in actually invest money into building something that you don't know will be profitable. 
you already have an asset that is profitable from day one. By the website will also make sure you don't have to uh, get you know all the technical knowledge that is required to actually start a website from scratch. Again, it's already built. Uh, if it's an e-commerce site, the the person or the team that built the site already uh, figure out you know like the the platform, the checkout, the charts, all the technology that is required to actually build the site and not even talking about if you are buying a software as a service application usually not only you will get the app but also the developers or at least the contact for the de those developers so you can actually reach to them after and continue building the app so you don't have to also figure out all the technical part yourself and finally buying sites also allows you to be quite creative in terms of financing so usually you will not, uh, let's say, finance the building of a site, okay? Because you don't really know always exactly what to do, where to invest your money. If you should invest more in building the site or in hiring writers. Here, it's already an existing business. You know how much it will uh, do per month. So you can really either get um, financing. I know that in the US, for example, you have some companies now doing financing especially for uh, this time of, of online assets. So you just tell them uh, and send them the proof of how much it is making per month and they will actually uh, give you financing for that based on the site. Of course, you can try also to go at your bank, mostly like local banks that are more uh, into taking risks than big, you know, like bigger uh, brands of banks that you know, will only give you money if that's something they know. You can really try to, to, to be creative here and get financing and then actually buy a website with a loan because you basically have a, a huge yield on your investment. If you really see uh, buying a website as an investment, you nearly get 50% return on your money per year, right? Because that's what it will generate. So you can really take your loan and just quickly pay back this loan just by the revenue generated by the site. So those are all the advantages that I see uh, of buying a site compared to just uh, building one from scratch. So to sum up, you basically skip you know, all the time spent into building. You just get immediately an asset that will generate money from day one. You also skip all the risk that comes with building a site and not really knowing if it will make money or not. And finally, you also uh, have the option to, to really get financing and build a very nice portfolio uh, just by taking a good loan and putting that into a, web a website. Of course, this all uh, kind of suppose that you know in which websites you need to invest, okay? Of course, if you make a bad investment, you also have the risk that the site will not perform well and that you will actually lose a part or all of your money. So to avoid that, okay, and based on my experience with websites and also with buying websites, I made a checklist that will help you uh, really separate the good deals from the bad ones on platforms, for example, like Empire Flippers. So I just put the link to this checklist uh, just next to this video. So I really invite you to check this out. Check out this checklist. Uh, it will really tell you step by step what you need to do to actually uh, select a good profitable website. That being said, if you have any question about the content of this video or anything related to websites and investing in profitable websites, just leave a comment or send me a message directly. That being said, thank you again for watching the video and I will see you in the next one.